10 single player games you can play in 2020 or 2021. Having a gaming campaign with a friend or two is absolutely nice, but sometimes you just have to sit and enjoy your game alone, especially when you've had a very long and busy day. Here are some single player games that can help relieve stress. You can enjoy these games this year and the next. Do you want to win any of the items you see on your screen? All you have to do is watch the whole video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, and make sure you're subscribed. Good luck! And number 10 is The Outer Worlds Peril of Gorgon. From the furthest reaches of the universe. Peril of Gorgon is a remarkable game developed by Obsidian Entertainment. It was released in September 2020 on PC, PS4, and the Xbox series. If you are familiar with Obsidian Entertainment, you know they don't disappoint. Their previous release in the past few years speak for themselves. One of the outstanding works of Obsidian was the Fallout franchise, which was released several years ago. The game made a name for itself in the gaming universe. Peril of Gorgon has some similarities with the Fallout franchise, hence we can expect the same level of action if not higher. In Peril of Gorgon, you are sent on an astral journey to a planet called Gorgon. You travel through different worlds and planets unraveling the story behind a murder and a murder case. You have to complete a mission in a particular world before you can move on to the next. And number 9 is Twin Mirror. Twin Mirror is a single player action packed thriller developed by Daunt Nod and published by Bandai Namco Entertainment. Daunt Nod Entertainment is quite known for the famous work Life is Strange series, which was released in 2019. Twin Mirror was released very early in 2020 and is considered a fresh start for Daunt Nod Entertainment. Twin Mirror features a character called Sam, who lost his best friend. Sam decided to return home to attend his friend's funeral. On returning home, he suddenly awakens in the middle of the forest with no memories of how he got there. So Sam decides to find his way home. But unknown to Sam, there are monsters in the forest, and he must find his way back home. Help Sam to overcome obstacles and his way through the evil forest. The game gives you the freedom to make your own unique choices, and allows you to go back to see how things would have played out if you had made another choice. You can play Twin Mirror on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. Number 8 is Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. This war was a lie. Years of blood. Just a light diffuse of a secret war. Decades in the making. Call of Duty is a household name in the gaming community. Raven Software Treyarch is the brain behind your favorite video game. Every year, they release a new exciting project for fans and other players to enjoy. This year isn't different, and the much-anticipated Black Ops Cold War has finally made its debut in November 2020. Gladly, Black Ops Cold War has both single-player and multiplayer features, meaning you can have all the fun, action, and excitement all to yourself, or choose to compete with a local player and also challenge other players online. We're in a cold war and disaster looms over many nations via the threat of nuclear weapons. Players are tasked with the duty of tracking Soviet spies and terrorists using a CIA detective called Russell Adler. Unlike the previous versions of Black Ops, this version comes with a unique storyline and improved graphics. You can play Black Ops Cold War on consoles like PS4, N5, Xbox One, Xbox X series. You can also download the Windows version and play it on PC. And number seven is Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Hey, Vaughn! Sigurd! Ha <laughs> I missed you, brother. Ramti, your husband returns, bringing gifts. Ubisoft is considered one of the top game developers in the world. Having dropped another classic in the course of a year, they're out with another masterclass in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which is considered a follow-up to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. This version, however, is a product carefully thought with patience and excellent craft. In Valhalla, players would explore at least four kingdoms in the nation of England. Just like previous versions of the game, players are going to live as a particular character with the freedom to explore their environment, meet people, and align themselves with events and thoughts in order to complete missions. Assassin's Creed Valhalla comes with a single player option if you need to enjoy the game alone. You can play it on PC, Xbox One, Xbox X, and also PS4 and PS5. And number six is Marvel's Avengers. When I was young, I found an orphaned wolf cub in the forest behind our farm. For a while, players were confused about what to expect from Crystal Dynamics and Square Enix's piece of work here. 
the developers have chosen to keep the details of the game confidential to step up interest from players around the world. But after much anticipation, before it got released in 2020, we wanted to know what the game was like and keep our fans updated. After digging up some interviews with members of Square Enix, we discovered that the game will feature a unique storyline different from what was presented in the movie. According to the game, superheroes from the Marvel Universe came together to celebrate what was supposedly a hero's gathering. And superheroes from different spheres of the universe came together to dedicate the new Marvel headquarters in San Francisco. The event turned out to be catastrophic to the city. The government relieved their trust in the superheroes and decided to take action. After many years, we will have to come back together to save the planet from imminent destruction. Players will also have tons of characters in a list of Marvel superheroes to choose from. The game is available offline for a single play experience on consoles and PC. And number 5 is Half-Life's Alix. After Half-Life 1 and 2 were released, players were desperate for another release. Unfortunately, instead of releasing Half-Life 3, Valve decided to release an intermediate version of the game, Half-Life Alix. The game features a character known as Alix Vance, who is on a quest to retaliate against the group called the Combine, and she needs her father's help to do so. This might be disappointing to fans of the traditional games, as Half-Life Alix is available in VR mode only. If you can't resist the temptation to look the other way, you might go for a headset capable of running on VR. That's only if your PC can run VR games in the first place. Number 4 is Celeste. If you want a single player, brain tasking game you can enjoy at your leisure, look no further than Celeste, which is a 2D thriller game that challenges your reasoning. It offers much more of a bigger rush than what meets your eye. It was programmed and released by Matty Thorson and Noel Berry two amazing game developers. Initially made in 2016, the latest version of the game has a striking resemblance with previous versions with a few updates. In Celeste, you assume a character who is able to rush in eight directions. The game is filled with several obstacles, challenges, and traps that you must overcome to get to the next level. Celeste's game gets difficult with each level you must play in order to win. The storyline of the game is about a friendship and hardship. It's an exciting game that is worth trying. Celeste is available for play on PC, Switch, Xbox, and PlayStation. And number three is Doom Eternal. If you haven't selected a game from our previous mentions, then we suggest you consider Doom Eternal. id Software and Bethesda Softworks are a deadly combination in the making and publishing of the highly rated Doom Eternal. The game maintains the same storyline of fighting evil monsters in space. A group of evil, demonic monsters terrorized Earth, and Doom Slayer fight on behalf of humanity to restore order to the Earth. The recent version is offering even more action than all the previous versions. Originally, the game was expected to drop in 2019, but for reasons not known, was postponed to 2020. The popular game presents in previous versions has been fixed, the bug has been fixed, so you can have a smooth playing experience. You can choose to play alone or with a partner, and in the multiplayer mode, to battle demonic forces together. You can play Doom Eternal on PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch. And number two is Resident Evil 3. You gotta stay strong. What do I do? Don't give in to fear out there, right? How did this happen? Calm down, buddy. Calm. Capcom is a highly respected game developer with many accolades to its name. With several releases in its database, the biggest of them all is undoubtedly Resident Evil. After being in the Gamecom for so long, Capcom went to updating all previous installments. The updated games went well with the fans. Almost immediately, fans started pleading for a reinvention of the thriller Resident Evil 3. The fans' pleas never fell on deaf ears, and Capcom responded swiftly by releasing Resident Evil 3, which was initially released in 1999, and the updated version hit the market everyone fell for it, including non-gamers. Resident Evil 3 came with much better than its prede predecessors in terms of improved graphics and new gaming mechanics. The game, however, retained the original story that was in previous versions. Players will come into the scene as Jill Valentine, a STARS officer. With the outbreak of a virus in Raccoon City, players will have to find their way out of the city intelligently. Resident Evil has always been more suited to single play and will always be, except if it changes in the future. You can play Resident Evil on PlayStation 4, PC, and Xbox consoles. And number one, Spider-Man, Miles Morales. I promise.
Spider-Man was a classic and an instant hit on PlayStation 4. Insomniac Games and Sony Entertainment are adding gasoline to the already existing flames by releasing Spider-Man 3 Miles Morales, the action-packed thriller is ready to feature exclusively on PlayStation 5. When details of Spider-Man Miles Morales were announced by Insomniac, it caused some little confusion. Players thought it was only going to be a remastering of previous versions, with the inclusion of Miles Morales. However, they turned out to be wrong. It appears Miles Morales' story is going to be completely different from what we have been used to in previous games. If you enjoyed previous installments of the Spider-Man game, this should be no different, and PlayStation 5 gamers can enjoy the single-player feature on their favorite Spider-Man series. Hey, if you think there was a game missing from this list, please feel free to drop it in the comments below. Until next time, happy holidays!